Eric with Gazella Wi-Fi here. Wanted to put together a quick little video to show you a little bit more about the Zapier and Gazella Wi-Fi integration. So it's a really cool tool. Zapier is by far one of my favorite uh, tools out on the internet. You can automate just about anything with it. And so today I'm going to show you how to automate sending the data you collect in Gazella Wi-Fi to just about anywhere you are currently using. Uh, Zapier has hundreds and hundreds of different integrations to use, and so just kind of pick the one that you want to, um, you're looking to use. So I'll go ahead and get started. So to do this, what we're going to need to do is uh, have a Zapier account. Uh, I believe they can get you started with a free account, um, and then they also, you'll also need to have your account open in Gazella. Uh, so what you'll need to do is go to Triggers, and you're going to go ahead and hit Create Trigger. And so we're going to say, okay, when this device comes in, uh, we're going to choose every time, uh, and we'll do that unlimited times. We want to trigger a webhook, which we'll, see. we'll be using Zapier for. We'll also uh, select the location that we're going to do, and we're going to hit Add Trigger. And we'll be prompted to input a webhook. So I'm going to go ahead and go into our Zapier account and we're going to select make a zap at, at this point so we're going to transition over to Zapier and uh, go ahead and create a new zap so what we're going to do uh, in this example we'll go ahead and take data from Gazella so as soon as someone logs in how we chose every time in that trigger we're going to maybe send them to a we'll, well for this purposes we'll send a text message um, but you could really you know put them into a Google Sheet or wherever you're looking to send them so in this case we'll go ahead and we'll choose webhook. So we'll choose webhook by Zapier. And it shows retrieve pull and catch uh, hook. You can use the retrieve pull. That's uh, This option will work just fine. Uh, it'll be a little bit different, but just follow the instructions on Zapier. But for this purposes of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and do the catch hook. But we're going to do the uh, uh, less common options. We're going to choose to catch the raw hook. Uh, this is very important. Um, based on how this system is configured. So we're going to do that catch raw hook and I'm going to choose save and continue. And it's going to give us a unique uh, web address here. And So I'm going to go ahead and copy that or you can click copy to clipboard and we're going to take this back into our triggers. Now that's not quite all we need to do. We also need to choose which parameters we want to go ahead and send this unique link. So if you look here, if we click on that allowed parameters, these are all the uh, basically the different data points that we can pass on uh, to Zapier from the Gazella system. So we can choose you know that visitor's email, uh, their gender, their phone number, you know whatever data we had collected uh, at the time of their login. And so for this instance, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to choose. Uh, the phone number. Uh, so you'll just need to put question mark phone equals and then the parameter that you are looking to pass. Uh, so again, if you may need to pause this video, uh, to kind of look at that um, little additional script that you're going to want to add to that webhook to make sure it uh, passes the correct data you're looking to, to send. And after that, we're just going to go ahead and hit add trigger. And we'll head back into our Zapier account. And I'm just going to say, OK, I did this. And it's looking for that uh, raw hook. It may take just a second. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause this video until it does. All right, and as you can see, now we have our test successful. I'm going to show you a quick little uh, tip and trick. So uh, in order to confirm that you're uh, all set up properly, uh, what you'll want to do is actually take this, uh, this web hook if you just copy and paste that into a tab here, you'll see a success message to know that, uh, that you did it properly. Um, it also helps to, to put this uh, web address to just put in a new browser to kind of trigger that first one. That'll make that test successful go uh, quite a bit quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And now we're all set. So like I said, we can do send it to a text message using uh, the uh, you know, Zapier, uh, this is one of my favorites, uh, but maybe we just want to put it into a Google Sheet. Um, you can just go ahead and choose Google Sheet, and it'll actually guide you right through. So maybe we want to say every time that new phone number comes in, we create a spreadsheet row, and it'll guide us right through. It'll go ahead and you know connect your 
Google account, and uh, you can go from there. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. Um, but again, Zapier is one of my favorite tools, and you can pretty much automate anything with Gazelle Wi-Fi marketing, so um, definitely check it out. Thanks, guys.